let's move on here. And um, let's also calculate the volume of the Earth and therefore the density, the average density of the Earth as well. Okay, so this is our next slide here. We're going to calculate the volume of the Earth. Now this requires that you uh, remember a thing or two maybe from, um, from geometry and that is the Earth being a sphere or a spheroid. Um, we should say that the volume of the sphere is, anybody remember? should be 4 thirds pi r. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Pi r not squared, but cubed, right? Pi r cubed. So that would be 4 thirds. I would write that in my calculator in parentheses, times pi, times our radius of the Earth, or simply r cubed, and that gives us a volume of the Earth of 1.09 times 10 to the 21st cubic meters cubic meters because remember this radius right here is in meters and uh, the fact that we have some of these punched in as simply R or um, well an, an arbitrary letter we tend to f we may tend to forget what the unit is here don't forget this is this is meters right here don't just key it in as R but say that's a that's R it's a number of meters so this is our final value in cubic meters okay that's great. I'm also going to convert this to um, cubic centimeters as well. All right, well, um, one cubic meter is a million cubic centimeters. Um, sorry, that's another zero in there. It should be one million centimeters cubed. Now you might say, well, how, how did you come up with that? Well, um, uh, a centimeter is one one hundredth of a meter. So there's a hundred centimeters in a meter. And we take that three ways, a hundred times a hundred times a hundred. That should give us one million cubic centimeters in a, in a cubic meter. Okay, so that means that um, our volume of the Earth is 1.09 times 10 to the what? What does a million add to that exponent right there? It adds six digits, or it adds six zeros. So times 10 to the 27th centimeters cubed. In fact, I'm going to box both of those right there. Okay, but here's why I, I converted uh, this to centimeters and on the previous slide why I converted this, oops, there we go, converted this to grams and that is because we tend to weigh, the, or sorry, the, measure the density of objects as grams per cubic centimeter. Okay, well we have the mass of the Earth in grams, 5.99 times 10 to the 27th. And, um, oops, I'm sorry, I didn't, there we go. 5.99 times 10 to the 27th, and we have the volume of the Earth in cubic centimeters. All we need to do now is simply divide. So the density average, average density, because again, the density of the Earth is not uniform. Fortunately, it's, it's, um, uh, it is spherically distributed, but it's not uniformly distributed. So on average, the density of the Earth would be 5.99 times 10 to the 27th grams per how many centimeters cubed? 1.09 times 10 to the 27th cubic centimeters. So go ahead and just divide that. 
Now, you can type in 5.99 times 10 to the 27th and divide by 1.09 times 10 to the 27th. That's, that's perfectly fine, but we can do sort of a shortcut here. We can just say, well, that cancels out and that cancels out. So it's simply 5.99 divided by 1.09. And what do you get? I get 5.5 grams per centimeter cubed grams per cubic centimeter. So uh, just to give you sort of a, a reference, uh, a, a, a cubic centimeter of water, a centimeter times a centimeter times a centimeter, it's about the size of a pea or maybe a little bit bigger, um, weighs one gram. So on average, our Earth, if it were all uniform throughout, on average, our, worth would, our Earth would weigh about five times this, or it would have 5.5 times the density of water. So let's take a look at this question down here. Rocks found near the surface of the Earth have a density of three grams um, per, cent or per centimeter cubed. Okay, so it's much less than our average density right here. What can you conclude? Well, I guess that question could, should be more specific. But you can cl conclude a number of different things. But if the surface density of the Earth is less than the average density of the Earth, let's just say. Here's the earth and the average density, I'm sorry, the surface density of rocks, drawing up the surface right here, is uh, three grams per centimeter cubed. That means, and this is what I would conclude, that at the center of the earth, the rocks must be significantly more dense than at the surface. So, core rocks are actually not even um, or not just more dense than, than at the surface but they must be more dense than the average they've got to be denser than the average density well because it has to balance out the fact that the sur surface rocks are much less dense so whatever is at the center of the Earth, and I doubt that we'll ever really exactly know, but um, whatever is there um, is got to be very, very dense. So again, our Earth is not uniform in its uh, mass distribution. It's denser at the center, and it's much less dense at the surface. But it is spherical in its mass distribution, which is why all objects are pulled towards a central point, and which is also why we can think of the Earth as a point mass. And we're going to be doing that in these next few problems.